Hey guys, Lost here, and welcome to yet another Minecraft Mod Showcase here on the channel. Lucky Block themed, because if you missed the memo, this entire week's going to be nothing but Lucky Block upon Lucky Block upon Lucky Block. But I hope you guys are pumped and excited for more. I know I am. And if you are, hit that like button right now. Get this video to 10 likes. What are you guys doing? Also made by the end of this video, if you're new, you might consider subscribing to the fam as well. Because uh, we're always looking to see more active and amazing people here on the channel. And, I mean, I say active very loosely, so, like, you don't, you don't have to be active. You, just get, you, you can be here if you want. It's up to you guys. It doesn't bother me. What's there? What are they called, like, ninja viewers? Where, like, they watch your channel and videos, but, like, they never talk at all. That's fine, too. I completely understand that. Also, um, we lost our ability to zoom into my amazing skin now because we had Delete Optifine because it was glitching up when I was setting up this mod showcase. So, that's unfortunate. But, guys... If you want to know which mod we are viewing today, it is the Crystal Lucky Block. That's right. I said it yesterday. We're kind of going in alphabetical order this time around, at least for this week in terms of Lucky Blocks. So you might be able to actually predict which Lucky Block will be next if you know your Lucky Blocks well. And also, you might want to consider this mod for suggestions for our uh, Lucky Block. I'm still trying to get used to the name since I haven't said it much. The... Uh, Wait, it'll come to me in a minute. Lucky Block Survival Craft series that we started up. And there will be another episode of that coming out this Thursday. Do not worry. And also, if you guys are interested in an amazing world generation like this, where you spawn in right in a desert next to an ocean, and over there there's a uh, acacia biome. Let me give you that seed right now. And I'm not going to give you guys always the seed if you are new and wondering why I always give you guys the seed. It's just if we get an amazing spawn or generation that I personally think is cool, um, I'll give you guys the seed for it. Normally I don't, but... Uh, I know occasionally if there is a good seed, you guys will ask for it anyway in the comments. So I normally can tell when a good seed is is available. And do you, you guys know great seeds are hard to come by in Minecraft. Because what, there's like what, how many quatillion of them? Like, you know what I mean. But anyways, guys, let's get into this block showcase today. So if you want to know how to craft this lucky block. Now, it is, it's a recipe. It's a little bit dumbed down compared to the last block reviewed. But it is the amazing light gray dye and gray dye surrounded by the lucky block. And um, if you guys didn't know... Uh, or new to the lucky block thing this recipe is very common for the majority of the lucky blocks because it is from the loot plus plus mod itself I believe so correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I think what happens is if the mod creator does not if the mod creator utilizes the loot plus plus mod if you didn't know you need that for most lucky blocks these days 1.8 to 1.8.9 at least um, By the way per people who like making mods make a new loot plus plus mod for like 1.12 so people can actually update their lucky blocks if anyone wants to get on that i'll pay you just kidding but still um it, that's probably the greatest mod ever people would probably pay for someone to do that if they knew how to um to at least update their lucky blocks that is but what was i going with this oh yeah so those who don't have an actual craft recipe put into their lucky block they it, it kind of auto puts this recipe in so in case anyone was wondering that's up that's what's up with that so time to actually review this block so if you don't know how we review the lucky blocks here on the channel essentially what we do is we spawn in one in the center on top of this redstone block if it gives us anything remotely bad we have to stay in survival mode open a stack of the lucky blocks gives us anything good we can stay in creative mode to show off the block for as long as we want but that being said let's do this three two one a stick the teleporting stick knock back infinity Nani? All right, we'll take that. All right, time to do this. Now, first things first, let's see if we can open this without. All right, we need the redstone block. Occasionally, sometimes people make the blocks so you can open it in creative mode and not need a redstone signal, but it's fine. Let's get this. Oh, well, we got a crystal coin. Crystal, crystal money, money, money. All right, we just got a ton of crystal coins. If you guys don't know, can I actually use this for anything? Actually, is the real question. Uses. It can be used to make crystal material, which can then be used to make the stuff. All right, and I, judging by that sword, I think this is one of the overpowered lucky blocks. Not sure, though. What do we classify as overpowered? Ever dropping overpowered or just the chance of something being overpowered? There's the knockback stick again. Oh, wait, this one's just knockback 20. All right, we'll take that. Next up, we have the classic lucky set. See, I like blocks that give us drops like that, where it's like, oh, yeah, the classic lucky block. There actually was a mod for 1.8 called the classic lucky block, and it literally was just the lucky block from 1.6. Uh, poured it over to 1.8. It was pretty fun. Not 1.6, uh, 1.7. Or was it 1.6? I don't know now. Now I'm, I forget. But anyway, next we got the mysterious potion. A random potion effect. Or effects. Random smiley face. Interesting. Ooh, what have we here? The speed charm. All right. I like this. Something you have in your inventory increases your speed value. I, I enjoy that. Moving on. What are these? 
Splash potions of healing. Oh, if you couldn't have given me any more. Thanks for that. Too bad I don't need them right now. Another stick. Is this one different or is it, no, it's a teleporter stick? All right. Nice to know we can teleport places. All right, we got our, our generic stone tools. We've seen them before. Lucky, we got the lucky well again. What are we going to get? Emeralds. Nice. Now, it would be cool is if someone could get the, the uh, iron blocks underneath the well to change, depending on what drop came out of them. I know some lucky blocks have gold underneath them now, but, like, it would be cool if someone decided to do that. Also, if you guys didn't know, uh, random fact, you can't actually grab that iron underneath each well if no one's ever decided to do that before. What's this? The crystal OP magic. Uh, usage? No, it has no uses. I can't place it. I don't know what that does. Wait, let me go in survival mode just to look. Oh. You eat it. Uh, understood. I'm just gonna take some milk really quickly. Okay, so if you get something called Crystal OP Magic, it's basically like a lucky potion, except even better. Next, we got another well. Was it this time? Oh, Crystal Materials Strikes. So this time around, we just got all the Crystal Materials, which can be used to make the stuff in the set. And monster stone? Nope, regular stone. When are we ever gonna get monster stone as a drop? Teleporter stick once again. We've got the teleporter stick like five times in a row, and something tells me the uh the level of it has been different every time, and I just haven't been paying attention to those Roman emeralds. Mysterious potion, once again, another one, which is a random potion effect. That one gave poison. Po it, it looks like poison, but something tells me it's different every time. Alright, next. Another well. But golden apples this time. Okay, so this seems to be a very well heavy induced lucky block. It's been a while since we've seen a block that did this. Gives us a lot of different wells, but they're all custom. I like that. All right, we got some more of those uh, buildable materials. Following that, we got a uh, potion of leaping. It's just a normal potion of leaping. General, no nothing special there. What I'm waiting for is to review a block. There has to be at least one this week that's gonna take that's gonna involve the potion core mod. Because it's been a hot minute since we've had a block that gave us stuff from the potion core mod. If you don't know what that mod is, essentially if I type potion, um, it's like, oh, what? Do I not have the... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did I not install it? Is that what's happening here? I think I forgot to install the potion core mod on here. That might be why we're not getting custom po... Folks back home, if you want to make a lucky block work, remember, you need to have the loot plus plus mod, the potion core mod, and I think it's called the, like, items plus mod or something. It, it, it's something like that. But yeah, to make lucky blocks work to their maximum efficiency. And I broke the number one rule. Wow, it gave me my head. Thanks. I definitely needed it after that whole... Okay, I'm definitely have to go and uninstall it after this. So does that mean I've been doing these this whole time without that mod installed or did it delete itself? Or is it just not showing up for some reason? I'll know after this video, guys. Don't worry. But another well, if it's something different, I'm going to flip. I missed. Wait. If it if it seriously gives me a second, a, a new well drop. All right, golden apples. We already... Yeah, we've already gotten something called golden apples. I was like, wait a minute. Is that just a different one? All right, I think we've seen enough of this block. Time to do our five block ritual. And if you, again, do not know what this is, let me explain. We place down five redstone signals. We place down five lucky blocks on top. If it gives us a unique drop, we add a star to the rating list. If it gives us five total brand new drops, this block will be considered a, quote, five star rated block. If it gives us no duplicates, it'll be a zero star rated block. And it has been quite a while since we've gotten zero stars. It's kind of like Pokemon IVs. Not to change the subject, but... If you played any Pokemon game or variation, you know IVs work the individual values. And how many times have you gotten a 0% IV Pokemon? On top of that, 100% IV Pokemon. The chance is crazy. But let's roll that chance right now. Dragon Egg, brand, it's actually called a Crystal Egg. So brand new drop, that's the first one. Second one, the Strength card. I assume you eat that and get Strength. That's brand new. We've already gotten these crystal coins. I don't care the variation. We're counting as the same. So we unfortunately that loses a star. And I hate spiders drop with Bane of Arthropods 50. It's literally a spider. Right? That's disturbing, but it's a brand new drop. And finally, experience bottles. Once again, oh wait, I need this block to end off the video. Um, once again, a brand new drop. So four out of five, five, or pff, four out of five means five, no, no, no. Four to five, four star rated block. Once again, our last block of four star. Watch them all be four star rated blocks. I highly doubt it, but it might happen. Anything's possible with a lucky block. But guys, that is going to conclude today's first, because there should be two going out today. 
Lucky Block Mod Show, guys. If you guys did enjoy it, click that like button, share, support, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and do not worry, the down first mod will be linked in the description, as it always is, and uh, you can download them all for yourself, enjoy it for yourself, and yeah, again, keep these blocks in mind, guys, because I'm going to probably, I don't want to spoil it yet, but I'm probably going to ask you guys something revolving around all these new blocks by the end of this week, so stay tuned on either Thursday's videos or Friday's videos, and uh, yeah, we'll get into it then, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.